Hey YouTube, welcome to another Valkyrie Connect video. My name is Hakeo and in this video we'll be going over the mechanics, gear setup, team building for the Connect Battle Sleipnir. With Sleipnir specific tokens, you're able to purchase the item Dios Querno, which deals light magic attack damage to the unit with the highest magic attack while giving the wielder a magic attack buff for two turns. One thing I like about this item is the emphasis on magic attack damage, as well as its ability to target the highest magic attack unit, generally the mage mid row. And one thing I don't really like about this item is the secondary stat speed. If it was magic defense or HP, it would be much more powerful, but given that not many mage units have items like this, it's not a bad choice. Sleipnir is a grounded beast type with a high affinity towards the light element, moderate resistance towards earth, low resistance towards water, fire, and dark elements. As you progress through the difficulties of Selignir, you'll notice that he's accompanied by one or two sets of magic crystals, the first set being a melee light type, the second set being a ranged light type. Both types will share the same elemental resistance in which they'll be weakest to dark. Both sets of crystals, the melee and ranged type, share the same type of ability in which they restore 50% of their max HP, as well as countering all light physical type damage coming in for three turns. Sleipner has an activated and auto skill. His activated skill targets the unit with the lowest light resistance, dealing light physical attack damage to that unit, while applying a magic attack buff to three of your heroes with the highest magic attack for three turns. His auto skill has a connect wide effect in which it deals light physical attack damage to all units while petrifying them for three turns. Keep note that the petrify is race specific, and the race is listed below to what the ability affects. The second portion of this skill is that he restores roughly about 5% of his HP. And remember that he doesn't have to petrify any units to restore his HP. Since Sleipnir is a DPS race in which most units won't be able to use their ability, it's essential to choose the correct weapon, armor, and accessories for this connect to maximize your DPS, as well as damage sustainability. With most of the items that you'll be equipping, you want to limit them to single target damage, for if you AoE, the crystals will counterattack and deal damage back to that unit. The first two rows are single attack weapon or armor that you can choose in the connect to help you single target Sleipnir out. You have Vigrid, Curved Blade, Deforester, Mermaid Bikini, Staff of Anguish, Brave Staff, Burning Staff, and Spine Crusher. Other popular items that other players tend to use would be Dainsleth, Leventine, Lunar Cane, Storage the Raider, Icicle Ball, Icicle Rod, Dragon's Cry, and Icicle Cannon. The last row is your armor accessories that you can use in the connect to help sustain incoming damage with the exception of one of the accessories. You have Winged Helm, Straw Hat, Slayer Ring, and Hard Stone. I want to focus on Slayer Ring mainly because the Forgotten Memories storyline is out right now and this is your chance to get the item. And it's a great DPS item on top of the extra beast damage that you can deal with to Slayer Ring. Next, I'll be going over some example units that you can use in the connect. This time around, I won't include any tanks, I'll just include healers and DPS since there's no need for tanks for the connect specifically. First up, we have Balder, Spooky Hedoon, and Erd. With the exception of Spooky Hedoon, Balder and Erd both have really good light resistance, making them ideal for this connect since they can heal as well as resist the incoming light damage from Sleipnir. Both Balder and Spooky Dune are spike healers in which they heal once and the heals won't persist through X amount of turns. The difference is that Spooky Dune will only heal 3 of your heroes with the lowest HP, while Balder will heal all of your heroes at once, including himself. There is an upside to using Spooky Dune versus Balder, and that's if you're using items that are gender related. Since Balder is a male, there will be specific items that he can't equip. Erd, on the other hand, has a healing over time effect in which the heal will persist through X amount of turns while giving all of your units a defense and magic defense buff as well. Erd also has a limit burst in which she'll provide a 10% increase on every unit in the connect, a defense and magic defense buff for 5 turns. For the next two sections, we have our DPS units. We have Thrud, Odin, Molly, and Vidar. The top two heroes, Thrud and Odin, has moderately high light resistance towards Sleipnir. Thrud has a water elemental attack that can deal damage to Sleipnir. The issue is that she'll hit the three units with the highest magic attack, where she can be counterattacked and she'll kill herself. If you don't have the heal to back it up or the items to sustain the counterattack, I highly suggest you don't use her ability. Odin, on the other hand, will deal light magic attack damage to all enemy units in the connect. This will generally kill him. You don't want to use his ability even if you have the heals because he'll generally just one-shot himself. You want to have him in connect to equip him with weapons that can deal damage to Sleipnir while having a good light resist towards the incoming damage. 
Though the bottom two units, Molly and Vidar, have low light resist, they have an ability to single target Slapnare where you don't have to worry about the incoming counter attack. Molly will deal dark damage, which is Slapnare's weakest elemental resist, while Vidar will deal water damage towards Slapnare, which is his second weakest element. Next up, we have our second set of DPS units. We have Fei Lang, Berserker Bear, Zato, and Niji. Each of these units have moderate to moderate low light resist. The main advantage that they have is that they can single target Slapnare without the worry of being counter attacked. Even though each of the units light resist isn't that high, if you have a good healer to back them up, it shouldn't be an issue on them being able to live through the connect while dealing consistent damage to Slapnare. A few tips before I go is that you don't want to use units that has an AoE ability for they'll be counter attacked and your unit will either be at very low health or they'll one shot themselves. You can run 0, 1, or 2 healers. As you increase the healers, you need the other units to be able to compensate for the damage. If you have 2 healers, you can AoE and use the abilities of the units more, but you'll have to have the weapons and the units highly promoted or orbed. If you have 1 healer, which is standard, you can use your ability once in a while and then heal them up, and then use the ability again. If you use 0 healers, you have to have items to either compensate for the HP or the lack of heals where you'll be using Winged Helm or Straw Hat. Keep in mind that race is also a factor in disconnect. If your units aren't the correct race, you'll be losing out potential damage when your units are petrified. And with that, if you already aren't involved in Valkyrie Connect community, I'll provide a link for the Discord and Reddit below in the description. And if you like the video, please like the video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. If you want to know what I've been up to in the game, or if you want to see what's been happening on the Japanese client side, please follow me on Twitter. And until next time guys, take care.